Hi everyone, my name is Josh, and I'm part of the team behind Reply.io, the platform that automates personal communication at scale. In this video, I'd like to talk about our Salesforce integration. The first thing you'll notice is our default profile. Here we've loaded your account with preset sync steps that you can toggle on and off as you like. By clicking into one of the steps, you'll be able to edit the field mappings. This is where you choose the exact information you want to be synced. Each corresponding field must have a matching data type. For example, you cannot match a boolean with a string, they must always be the same. You can also create filtering rules for every step. This is where you select the specific context you want the step to affect. If you do not specify a certain rule, the sync will bring over all valid contacts or leads, depending on the type of step. Next we have custom profiles. These are largely the same as default profiles, but allow for even more control. You can create as many steps as you see fit in a custom profile. As well as add actions like move to campaign. Then we have the log. This is just a record of your most recent sync. It provides you with the number of contacts or leads synced, as well as covers any errors that may have occurred during the process. Lastly, we have the plugin. The plugin allows for more direct control over the integration from within Salesforce. It's not necessary if you're actively using the native integration within Reply. In order to fully utilize the integration, your Salesforce account must be equipped with API functionality. Thank you for your time. We understand how important your time is, and that's why thousands of companies choose Reply to save them countless hours every week. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support.reply.io. Thanks, and have a great day.